Hello and welcome. Introduction. Now, in my previous video, that is uh, video 63, this video up here, that is shown up here, uh, in, that, in this uh, particular video, I've covered serial transmission in uh, quite a lot of detail. Now, if you're not familiar with the subject of serial transmission with the Mega 328, I would strongly recommend that you watch that video first. And I've included the, the link to that video in the description. Now, in, this, in, the, in that video, I used assembly language uh, to do the uh, serial transmission. However, however, in this particular video, I'm going to revisit the uh, serial transmission, but I'll be using C uh, to do the serial transmission. Now, the reason for going through the serial transmission in C here is because I want to prepare uh, the viewer, that is you, uh, for my next video. USAT, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Now, before I start uh, getting into the code, uh, I'd like to revisit the uh, USAT uh, of the Ad Mega 328. Now, to help me do, do, uh, to do that, I have downloaded the Ad Mega 328 datasheet. Uh, we, I've shown the front page of the datasheet here. Now you can download this same datasheet uh, from this link. Uh, now I've included this link in the uh, description. Um, right. Now this is a block diagram of the USAT, and I've taken or extracted this uh, block diagram from the datasheet. Now basically there are three main parts to the USAT. The first part is the uh, clock generator, which is enclosed in this red box clock generator. Then the second part is the transmitter. All right. And then the third, thirdly, the, there is the receiver. Now, what I've done here is that I kept the, uh, the block diagram here, uh, but I have also included the pin out diagram of the 8 mega 328. Now, this is basically to help us to identify the the, uh, the pins mentioned here in the block diagram with the uh, the uh, pin up diagram of the Ad Mega three to eight. So the XCK, all right, that is uh, uh, port D, uh, bit four, and it's pin six on the Ad Mega three to eight, which is this one here. Then the TXD, that is the tra for transmission, that is port D, bit one, that is pin three, which is up here. And then finally, the receiving part, uh, that is port D, bit zero, that is pin two. Now the XCK, that is basically the clock for the clock generation. And as you notice, it's bi-directional. And then, as mentioned uh, earlier, there are three main parts of the USAT. There is the clock generator, there is the transmitter, there is a receiver. Uh, and uh, with each of these part, there are uh, registers that are associated with the uh, with these three parts. So the first one here, that is the USAT bulk rate register or UB. R R N is at some as some integer, and then there is the USAT data register uh, for a transmitter, which is this one here for transmit, and then there is a data register for receive, which is this one here, and then uh, the bottom part here there is this USAT control status register, that is the U C S R. Uh, a, B, and C. So there is the UCSRA, UCSRB, and the UCSRC. Hardware. Now for this video, you will need an Arduino Uno R3 and a USB cable with a Type A plug and a Type B 
plug the code so let's take a look at the code now so uh, it starts off with the usual uh, include directive here, uh, avr slash io dot h. Uh, this is uh, included in the in the code uh, when you start up at the Atmel Studio Seven. All right, and then uh, here I have declared two uh, function. We'll come to that uh, the details of these two function in uh, in a few moments. So the first one is init serial port. And then the second function is send data. And then followed by a declaration of an unsigned char type uh, called character. And then uh, the, uh, the main function of the program, uh, in, the, in the main function, I uh, init, call the init serial port function. Basically, that is to initialize the serial port of the AdMega328. Then I send it into an endless loop uh, in the endless loop, I have this send data uh, function to send this character to the uh, terminal. So basically, this function here transmit the character G to the terminal, and then uh, finally to return zero. So a very short program of uh, function. Now the function uh, serial, uh, sorry, init serial port. Basically, there are only three lines. So I here in this line, I assigned it uh, hex uh, 08 to the UCSRB, the universal, uh, sorry, USAT uh, control status register B. Now, basically, this 8 here, uh, that is to set the transmit enable bit of this register, this one, this bit here of this register to a 1. And then uh, this one here, the UCSR uh, C, I've given it a value of 0, 06. Basically, that is to set these two bits, the UCZ01 and the UCZ00 bits to 1. So these are the two bits in this register. So we set it to 1. And then finally here, uh, the, this is to set the bulk rate. 67 and assign it to UB uh, RR0L. So that would set the bulk rate. Then you have the void send data. And basically this line here is to check the U, the uh, data register uh, bit and, and see whether it's empty. All right, if the uh, bit is empty, then you transmit the, the character. Uh, the character that is passed into this function from here. All right. So basically, these are the, the two functions that 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 is being declared and used in the main function. The code demonstration. Hello. So uh, I've uploaded the code here uh, onto the Atmount Studio. Uh, let me just briefly go through it uh, with you. Uh, we have already done that earlier. So uh, let me just try something here. I'm still getting used to this software. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, all right, okay. So here we have the include directive, uh, the avr slash io dot h. Uh, and then I declare this to a uh, function here. Uh, in its serial port and send data and declare this uh, uh, what they call variable called character and it's of the type char and here is the main function which is pretty straightforward you will initialize the uh, serial port uh, using the init serial port function and then send it into an endless loop and within the loop we have this uh, send data and this is the character that we want to send a uppercase G or uh, capital G to the terminal and then return zero all right so uh, let me okay so let me just right and then here the two uh, function that I mentioned earlier uh, let me see if I can zoom in yep so in its 
uh, serial port basically these are the uh, registers uh, that we use the UCSR or USAT control register uh, B control register C and then this is the uh, USAT B, B, B BRRL the lower byte of this uh, register uh, that this will set the bulk rate what, what else the first one here set this transmit enable bit to a one uh, of the UCASRB uh, and then this here 06 hexar is to set these two bits here uh, UCZ01 and UCZ002 1 all right and then here is the uh, second function called send data and uh, it will uh, you will pass the character into this function and then it will check UDR or the data register of this register uh, basically you end the contents of this register and you, uh, shift uh, left one bit of this uh, of this bit and basically and ask basically this is to check whether the UDR bit is empty right if it's empty then you send in the uh, the data uh, to the data register and basically that's it all right so what we're going to do now is uh, there's nothing much to see in terms of downloading uh, all right uh, I think what we're going to do is try to oops it easy um, all right let me just move it here all right what I'm going to show you is uh, the uploading part uh, maybe it's not necessary for some of you but for those who are new to this and uh, let me just build the thing first clean it and uh, okay then rebuild watch this down here and it say build success succeed succeeded sorry and then tools uh arduino uh, you might be for those uh, of you uh, this who are familiar with this you might be it might be different for you but here i created a arduino function here so basically this will upload the code to the uh, my arduino board which you can see it here you will see two uh, these two leds flash when i upload it very quickly yeah so it's uploaded so it should be working and um, just this and then go to tools again data visualizer and you can see the serial port control panel uh, if you don't see it you might need to go here uh, go to this part here let me just do it again this uh, arrow pointing this direction click on it external connection and then serial port all right if you don't see this so I have already called I mean initialize it and then what you need to do is connect all right is to click connect and you see the the transmit panel and you can see the uppercase g being displayed onto the uh, terminal and uh, that's how we know that the uh, code or program is working okay that's it for this video i hope you'll find it uh, useful and uh, basically the main motivation of making this video is that I'll be using the serial communication uh, in my next video. So this is a kind of a preparation for the uh, uh, for the next video. All right. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.